Hello guys, this is Andy from Monkey Visual and in this second video we're gonna set up our scene, we're gonna add some lights to the scene but also we wanna work on the reflection and the post-processing, okay? So remember that previously we exported this scene, we imported this in Unreal Engine and then I tweaked some materials. Basically I just deleted all the all the lights they had, like the directional light and I just, I just left this skylight so and and this baby sky sphere so the skylight will take the the ambience from the sky sphere and will project it onto the map also i tweak all the materials but as you can see the reflection is sort of crazy like it start disappearing sometimes it's because it's those are screen space reflections so it reflects everything that can be just shown i mean in the screen for example you see that the it stops right here is where the screen stops. If I move up, you can see that the reflection is back. So that's why this screen space reflection, we're gonna fix that, okay? Uh, okay, let's start by working with the reflection. The first thing, let's add some sphere reflection capture. So we're gonna add one here. So you can see reflection I start I starting to look better. There you go. So I'm gonna to add some light around this curve. So I'm gonna duplicate it here. Then I'm gonna add another one here. So it's okay, there we go. So, but we start, we keep, we still have some issues with the screen space, but now we got more reflection from the sphere capture. So, okay. And um, also we're gonna add a planar reflection. There you go. We add our planar reflection. Uh, we're gonna place it just a little bit above a little bit above the floor. So there we go. So as you can see I got a message. Planar reflection required global clip plane project to be enabled. So what we have to do is just go to the our project setting. And then look for plan. You see, support global clip plane for planar reflection. We need to enable it, and it will ask to restart the editor. So we restart it, we save it. Then, when it's restarted, it will recompile the shaders, and we should be ready to go. Well, just to let you know, it will like be stopped at 39%. And then I guess it's at 45. Uh, yeah, we'll be there for a long time. But then after it's back open, we'll like recompile all the shaders. So we must just wait. Uh, so everything is already set in our scenes and all the shaders were compiled and it's pretty looking pretty good so far. And I added this mannequin because I like to have it as a reference. So when I when I add any actor, any you no know, any plane to be killed, I just have this as a reference so I can set the size because this is an average male size. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the lighting. Basically, I'm gonna create a basic light blueprint the way I do. So you you just have an idea on how I set this because I like to have light. Do uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, go to my real geometry so you see I have geometries of the light so I like to have this so I can it will give it it will give the same like uh, some of some sort of realistic feel so that's why I like to have meshes on the scene okay the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna create I'm gonna go to my folder I'm gonna create a blueprint folder and then another like BP I'm gonna set a quick example so you you have just have an idea about the the light I mean the, the, those blueprints so I'm gonna create a new blueprint it will be an actor it will be like ceiling lamp ceiling lamp oh ceiling lamp there we go oh <laughs> okay 
okay there we go so the first thing i'm gonna go i'm gonna place this in the back in the geometry folder so i'm gonna do real geometries there we go so let me add i'm gonna choose this first and then i'm gonna add a component static mesh and you see that it will be automatically chosen here so i just click it it will be there then let me select this one let me add another static mesh and there we go so we have it here so I'm and also let me add spotlight there you go let me just Compile, I'm gonna rotate it is now you see compile I'm gonna save it I'm gonna go back to the main scene then if I go to my blueprint like I got my blueprint there so I'm gonna place it in the scene so now I got this right and I'm gonna add some basic configuration to it in the construction so I can control the rotation and the spotlight intensity. Okay, so in the construction script, I'm gonna drag my main cylinder mesh, which is the light body that I didn't name it properly, but you should. And I'm gonna create a new variable, which is gonna be angle or I don't know, rotation or whatever. Rotation. There you go, I'm gonna set it to float. And I'm gonna compile and I hit save. Okay, I'm gonna drag in here, get rotation. I'm gonna make it public so we can see it in the editor. So, first thing we're gonna do is just set where rotation. I'm gonna place it here. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate it only in the x axis. So, I'm gonna make a rotator. And I'm gonna place a rotation in the X axis and then I'm gonna put it here. There we go. I'm gonna hit compa compile, I'm gonna hit save. Okay, let's go back and now if you go to if you go to the editor and you just move rotation, then you see the light but it's rotating but it's really going crazy, so we're gonna like clamp it. So uh, the values to be clamped is let's see. So now the let me rotate. Oh, let me, let, me, let me just uh, okay. Rotation should be zero. So the minimum rotation should be like okay. Uh, let me uh, no. so the minimum rotation should be like thirty-five degrees. Yes, that's one. 35 yeah 35 and the maximum should be 300 320 so let, let's set it let's clamp it between value range 35 degree and then 320 so now I'm gonna compile I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna set it to 35 I'm gonna compile I'm gonna hit save and now if you just you can just now rotate as you want so we, you can do the same basically for the light so you don't have to like go here and the spotlight and modify this intensity now you just place your spotlight so just my daughter <laughs> okay guys sorry for that it was just my daughter who was about to start crying but okay so we we're talking about light i just dragged my spotlight and then i just created another variable which will be intensity then make it visual and make it float oh my gosh float okay compile then um, set to five by default and then i'm just gonna set intensity and then i just connect to here and then i just gonna drag my intensity here and i and i just compile and then hit save so now i just go back to my there we go and I can just like set the intensity from here so like five I can just 
increase it but this is because of the of the radius let me just also control it which is let me just spotlight also which is the attenuation radius let me drag it down so you can have so let me drag it up like there we go wow let me save it oh it should be a lot more but you can just just do the same with the light settings that you need I'm not gonna go in detail with that right now because I'm gonna I'm gonna use the pre-made one I have okay uh, okay guys after I said I put laced I placed all my lights in the scene as you can see I just moved them to a ceiling lamps folder I got all my lamps here as I said I had just some pre-made lamps that you can see it from my previous project I just moved them between projects uh, I just used the white one so that's it but if you can see with the blueprint if you made a blueprint you can just tweak those lamps really really easy so in this case you can see for this one I got the ability just to change the color as well but as you see it will be changed also in the emission material of the of this lamp so it's really really good way to, to work okay so in that case let me just delete this um, I'm gonna save okay now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna bait our lighting so because if I, if I hit play you see that that okay lights okay but it, it seems dark because there's no global illumination at all so now it's time to bait the light in this case it just goes build and you can change the quality so I personally use height but I haven't seen it because I haven't seen any difference between production and height but I personally like this height previous one I'm just keep tweaking it but I just say height and then I just go to build lighting only and let's wait for it so now you need to wait for the light to be built so our light is already baked uh, there was some overlapping to be error because that's because of the light map UV that was generated so that that might create some sort of problem to see which one was okay uh, as you can see now this scene has the light break and if I hit if I play you can see now that we got some light from the ceiling you see the emission and there we go so we got a light so you can see our ceiling lamps as well okay oh there are some spaces oh there are some spaces that i need to fill so let me just fill in them quickly and just break it again so there we go uh now so we're pretty much done oh before going let's just work let's just do something quick let's add the post process volume and add it to the scene because this is what i love the most about this i'm just going to set this to infinite so it affects the the whole scene i mean it's not just this box it's the whole scene and let's go and tweak exposure let's set the minimum to zero maximum to one i'm sorry one minimum to one maximum to one there you go so we don't have those freaking problem and also let's work let's go to bloom method and let's change it to convolution as you can see now we got those beautiful beautiful light flares stuff so so that's pretty much it and in our next video we're gonna place our green screen actor we're gonna key it and then we're gonna well yeah that's it i'm gonna have some camera movement and that's it so see you in the next video guys don't forget to subscribe and also if you want to get the Says you can get it from my Gumroad page. So, see you later.